and we are live, I think. Yes, we are. So, we are here on YouTube. Hello, everybody who is here. Thanks for joining me. I've got yet another cup of coffee with me for this morning's streaming. And I wanted to share with you guys my setup right now that I'm using, and it's not gonna be expensive to get into a great live streaming setup. And one thing I should note is that I'm using OBS software, which is free. I am on a Mac, but you could also use this on Windows, so no problem there. And you know, when I first started, there's, I'm gonna share with you three different things and how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna share about the gear. I'm gonna share about why I think live is on the rise, the rise of live. And I think that's the medium to get into. And then I'm also gonna talk about, um, take your comments and questions if you have any as well at the end, all right? Cause I know that the chats disappear after the live session is done. So hopefully you guys can hang on till the end. I'm try to keep it concise and short, but let's get started. Let's talk about the gear first. So the easiest way to start live streaming is gonna be using your phone, right? Whether you're having an Android or an iPhone, I started with my old iPhone 5 and it was fine. But the one piece of gear that I really recommend to get if you're gonna be live streaming on your phone is a good microphone. Because I just find that the microphone that's built in is okay if you're in a really quiet room, but if you ever want better intelligibility and if the message matters, then get a good microphone. And the one that I use and that I recommend is the SmartLav Plus. And this is not, um, you know, there's other cheaper versions that are kind of knockoffs like the um, Giant Squid and stuff like that, but really it's not expensive. In Canada, it's about 110 bucks, which I think is expensive for Canada. But in the US, it's I think 60 or $70. And it's a clip-on mic. And it plugs right into any smartphone that has the microphone input. Now, even if you've got an iPhone 7 that this little port disappeared on, you can always use the included lightning to microphone input and still use it. So you're still in luck there, but it's gonna give you a much better clarity of audio and if you need room to move, because the cord that's included on the SmartLav Plus is pretty short, then go ahead and get this little extension cable and that will give you another 20 feet of room. So you could literally just prop up your phone, walk over to the side, demonstrate something you know, life size or whatever, and then walk back and they can always hear you. You're not gonna have your voice disappear as you walk away from your phone. So that's really nice there. So that's my first setup and what I start out with. But the problem with this smartphone is that when you're doing it live, especially on the Apple or the, um, the, the iPhones, is that you can't control the exposure or the white balance or the focus when you're going live. It's just you're at the mercy of the auto everything. And I really don't like that because I guess I'm a control freak and I want the best quality possible that I can get. So. When I moved over to the desktop, that's when I decided, oh, this is kind of neat. The uh, face cam camera on my MacBook Pro was a little bit better, but I also found that it was a problem with, you know, no control over the manual um, white balance or anything else. So the next step up was buying this webcam. And this webcam is awesome. If you take away one thing from this whole thing, get this webcam. It's, uh, oh, by the way, all the links can be found. Uh, I'm so silly. I don't think I put the link live yet. Um, but let me just show you the link here. D -d 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 -d, live streaming text right here. Um, all the gear you can find at that link over there. And I'll put that in the description after this live stream is done. But it's just bit.ly forward slash DD170407, and all the links are there. Now, this is what you're watching right now. This little camera is the quality that you're seeing that this, this can do. It's incredible. And so, honestly, I think it's $60 US. It's about 100 or maybe $90 in Canada, but it is incredible. If you take away one piece of gear, I am honestly quite worried that my pro cameras won't look as good as this simple webcam and be harder to set up, need more gear, everything else. So anyway, uh, if I had one piece to recommend you, do not hesitate in getting this little simple webcam. So use the link, make sure you get the right one because there's a lot that look similar and there's some that are more expensive that quote unquote try to sell you on the streaming side of it but you don't need. And so this is gonna be the best bang for the buck that you can get. If you are wanting to up your game from your desktop for audio as well, this is the microphone <clears throat> that I use. Um, 
this is the Samson G-Track. And why did I choose this over more popular models like the, the Yeti and things like that, and Snowball? Well, I'm a musician from my past life, and I also love the fact that G-Track also has a mic, or, or sorry, a instrument level input right built into the microphone. So on the front of the microphone, you not only have the microphone volume, you also have an instrument volume, which you can have if you plug in your guitar or anything else, and you also have a headphone output. So if you wanted to monitor to make sure that you, you're not clipping your audio, that you're not too loud, you're not too soft, you can also do that from the microphone itself. And it's not that expensive. I think it's about $90 US. And so it's in that range with the other ones. And I think the quality of the actual microphone is exceptional. So I do recommend one thing, no matter what microphone you're gonna be using, is get really close to it, all right? Right now I'm using a shotgun mic that's out of frame because I wanna show you more boxes later. But if I was to use this guy, I would literally put it right next to my mouth and make sure that I was pretty close to it. Because what it's gonna give you is a large diaphragm, so they've got a nice big um, <laughs> capsule in there to pick up the sound, but the closer you get, the better the bass is going to be, the mid-range as well, and it's just gonna feel more present, all right? So if you wanna get like a pro sounding, like um, radio station sound, get nice and close to your microphone. And that being said, there's a couple other pieces of the puzzle that make this sound a lot better. One is gonna be the shock mount, which I have listed there as well. And again, all links are over there. Now the shock mount is gonna stop you from, if you even tap your table, that you're gonna get this weird loud sounds coming from it all transmitting through vibration, up to your microphone capsule, all right? So that's gonna isolate the microphone capsule to make it sound a lot clearer. And here is my favorite windscreen to stop the sound uh, from being plosive and too loud on any of the S's and the P's. And that is this WinTech Pop Guard. So I love it because it's just this little small thing that wraps around the microphone itself. It barely fits my Samsung G-Track, and so um, I did break one of the little plastic tabs on the bottom, but it still works, no problem at all. Um, but I love it because I can get nice and close, and you don't need that weird arm that comes across with that little pop filter that many people use. So it's a much cleaner setup, and it's very effective. So works for me. Now, let's move on. And before we talk about, okay, Dave, you said this $60 webcam is gonna be awesome, but my videos don't look like your videos. And one of the biggest things, I'm gonna do a full review on the webcam as well as how I set it up and use some software to control it manually in a future video. But one of the biggest things about getting great clarity in the video is great lighting. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom of this page right now. And I'm planning to do a full review of this video light, but this, if you can afford it, and if you wanna make it look like a studio um, and have beautiful, gorgeous light, then this is the light I would recommend. It is the Aperture COB 120T. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a big mouthful, but essentially the link's right there. Um, go get it, and it is magnificent. I've been using this for all of my videos in our studio, and love it. I can't recommend it highly enough. And again, I'll do a full review of that, how I set it up, what gear I use as well, in a future video as well. So um, video light, or the light itself, is gonna make a huge difference to the production quality of your set. But now let's talk about why I'm even considering, if this looks this good, right? I've got a webcam, I've got a great looking light, I'm in a studio setup that looks amazing, why would I ever consider buying more expensive gear, all right? Like the black magic stuff, right? So my latest, I just received these from B&H, it's like Christmas when I, when I get stuff in from B&H, but you know what, I'm, the biggest reason, and this is the important takeaway from this video as well that isn't gear related, I really believe that now is the time of the rise of live. Okay, so live streaming is, is the it right now. And why, right? There's, there's a lot of reasons why. I think there's a reason why you need polished videos and you know when production matters with the nice intro, the nice outro, with the polish factor. Uh, but I really think that live streaming is gonna bloom in a huge way right now for a lot of reasons. And one of the main reasons is because I think a lot of people are jaded with videos as well. And there's a side of authenticity when pe people are live streaming. <laughs> of course that means making mistakes. My, I'm not perfect and I've been learning a ton from live streaming daily on Facebook and YouTube. But 
the, the fact of the matter is that live streaming gives you a chance to be more real with people as well. And so authenticity matters in this day and age. I also feel that live streaming is way easier because you don't have to edit the content, all right? Now, this is assuming that you have a voice, you have content that matters to people, and you can deliver it in an effective way that people want to listen. Now, those are all things that are multifaceted that are beyond the scope of this, but live streaming is really important, I think, for not in the future, but right now. And that's why I'm making such an effort to learn the medium and to share what I've learned as well. And why would I buy such expensive gear if I'm already getting great results with cheap gear? Well, I kind of want to push the limits. And I really think that I'm, I'm going to be in trouble here. And so <laughs> I'm not sure if I would recommend people buy like the Blackmagic web presenter, all right? Because even though this is made by Blackmagic and, you know, Black Magic is a, has a great reputation. I've heard that there are issues with it, that the audio sync and the video sync are not in sync. And so there's also other issues, like when you have the video out to a monitor, whenever you switch from camera to camera, that it actually disappears. And so that's a problem, right? That's not good. So it's not a perfect solution, but they just released this uh, web presenter this year. And I think they're trying to capitalize as well on the rush to go live in a professional manner that can bring your message to the masses, all right? And so I'm gonna be exploring this. And what this box does is it is an interface between any camera that has an HDMI output or an SDI output and your computer. And what your computer sees is just a webcam. It thinks your camera is a webcam thanks to this magic box. This is the middleman. I should note that it's only 720p, so it's not 1080p, but that's not a problem for live streaming because live streaming, I think, is going to be better at the lower resolution of 720p because your bandwidth is going to be eaten up, all right? So that's going to be important for this. But um, the, I hope I'm going to be testing out the quality and seeing how good it can render the image from my DSLRs um, as well as my camcorder. So I'll be testing it with a variety of different cameras, including my point and shoot Sony, right? And so I'm going to be looking at that. But the other thing that the Blackmagic can do, you have to buy the smart panel, okay? So with the smart panel, this web presenter, it has two inputs on the back, okay? It's got one that's HDMI, and it's got another one that is what they call SDI, okay? So two inputs. Now, I don't have any cameras that have an SDI output that can feed this beast to the SDI. I just have HDMI outputs, all right? So, um, but what if you'd had two cameras, all you need to do is buy this little guy. And this is the microconverter. It changes the HDMI to an SDI so it can plug in two cameras. Okay, why, Dave, would I want to plug in two cameras? Well, you can't do it with just the web presenter, but if you bought like me, the smart panel, what this panel will do, it just goes literally on top, just one screw, I think it changes it out, and it goes on top of the web presenter's front panel, replaces the panel, and you can live switch between two different cameras. So if you had like an overhead camera and you had a front view camera, you could switch with that physical button on, the, on this smart panel whenever you want between the two cameras. So that's pretty cool. What it can't do, is show you both of those feeds at once, okay? So you couldn't have like a picture in picture where one camera is in front and the other one's big. Not yet anyways, it's just gonna be switching between the two. And so I also purchased the HDMI to SDI so I can get two of my DSLRs into this live feed and switch at will. So you can do a lot of stuff there too. So pretty cool, pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys too. What are your thoughts on going live? And what questions do you have for me too? I, and uh, you know, I really think that we're on just the cusp of something here because the technology is getting more accessible. You don't have to spend a lot to get great quality even in your home. I'm in my basement right now, all right? So I'm hoping to be able to help you through that journey as well if you're on the same track as me too. But thanks for watching. I'm gonna get to some of the comments and so I might crop this section out later. But uh, God bless and we'll see you in the next video. Now, let's take a peek here. And I think we're good to rock and roll.